everybody here. Hi, Jim. How are you? Hi, Jim. How are you? Good to see you. Nice to see you again. Well, thank you. Jim, how are you? Well, since we're all shaking, yeah. That's your European custom. How's it doing? It's pretty much the same. 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 message to you from the team and for locked in the Toki for having done such things as help you watch and so on. This is what they say. We women political pro uh, prisoners congratulate you on your very election to the post of president of the USA. We live with hope to your country which is on the road of freedom and respect for human rights. We wish you success on this respect. This is a schedule of hunger strikes that they scheduled September through December of last year in commemoration of Helsinki days and things of that sort. Oh, this in here is uh, further documentation of who they are, where the camp is. That was smuggled out, Lord knows how. And, and no uh, way to thank them because they'd be in trouble, would we? Actually, these people want to be publicized. Why have a hunger strike if the world doesn't know? And, uh, they will, one way or another, they will be uh, allergic to the fact that whether by explicit name or what can be smuggled out, I assume can be smuggled back in. In any event, the evidence is... Well, they don't mean for us to do something about acknowledging this publicly. Yeah. 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 One way or another, we'll let you know that you, you personally received it. Well, How'd it get to you, Jim? Yeah. Um, George, those are some of the questions you'll uh, unofficial documents, yeah. because people know that once it reaches us, it can reach the world, because they would broadcast it back to the country. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. the actual size? Is that the actual size? Yeah. How could anyone write that small? say that down to the people, sir. I'm sure that the people of Russia are outgoing, probably very nice and warm people. But the system is, is barbarism. Yes, it is. Shoot first, talk later. Hello there. How are you? Ah, good to see you. Ah. That's you again. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you again. Hello, Ambassador. Well, Brendan, I think they want us to go out and let them have a time to see you in the South Yes, and then we'll go right into the cabin room for our meeting. We want you all to come with me. We'll just walk into where we're going to meet, and don't go out alone to get the photos. Well, how are you? Good to see you. 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 They were sure yelling. for what you did, and I know what it required in the, the help with the Palashes. We regret very much that one reporter. Sure, was President. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Bill Kozakowski, he's right. the president of the so state and meet you. FMBA, and uh, he's got three of his people with him, and they were the first union in New Jersey to endorse you. We have two Democrats, one Republican and one Independent to cover the spectrum. One's wow. a Democratic district leader, committee man, and they went all out during the campaign and took a lot of heat, but they well, did it because they believed in you and the policies that you had. Well, I know of your support, but I didn't realize that, that how deep it went. went this is Bill Flynn. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Charlie Mr. Donahue. Mr. Hello. Hello. See John Mr. Hi. Hi. Well, coming out and endorsing you for the first time in the history of the state FMBA, so 
real proud of the president that's coming on as strong as you are. And you've made us proud to be Americans, and proud to be firefighters, and we're just so happy with the job that you're doing that we thought it would really be appropriate that we present to you the well, Chief's helmet. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. I'd like to designate you as the FMBA's firefighter. Well, thank you. I'm very proud and pleased to have this. And we also have uh, a life membership. Life membership day. Day. Thank you very much. Just in case a police officer is going fix a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thank you very much, of course. And I thank him very much for what he was doing last week here and helping us and getting the MX and so forth. And we could have used it last week. I needed it. I needed it this weekend when I went home. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, my golly. You know, I, have, I think I have to tell you because I think I invented it. When I was about half high, four years old and living in the city of Chicago. That's what I said I wanted to be when I grew up. I think all of us. I told him I never knew those hats were that heavy. You made a shift. You did a lot better, Mr. President. You made a good choice. I'll tell you, of course, in those days, too, down there in the south side of Chicago near the, uh, the university, and uh, when the fire engine went by, it was pretty spectacular because they were pulled by those natural teams of horses right. in those days. <laughs> I do go back a way. Now that's even a couple of years before my <laughs> 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 um, Yes. Well, thank you all very much. I, I think this is one of the reasons why you won so big in New Jersey, though. Believe me. You even won my district. I'm still shocked. <laughs> all those Democrats we got. Well, we spent about four hours in the Port Authority of New York the night before your election. And that was an experience I'm glad that I got involved enough to find out a diversification of attitude. And you do find it in the Port Authority of New York when you're, you're in the Port Authority. Election. <laughs> that's, that's and I thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you, Mr. President, for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Continue thank you. Just one, one second here. Just a little souvenirs. I know you can't wear a uniform. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you again for your time, Thanks too, Mr. President. Really I know you're busy. Thank you again. You. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Hi. Hello, Mr. President. Nice to see you. Jeffrey. Hello. Kelly is the one who wrote you a letter after your unfortunate uh, shooting four years ago, and ever since then she said to me, can't he come over for dinner? I said, he's very busy, uh, but we'll see if we can do the next best thing to get in and meet him. I know we pose here for, for a real posed picture. Okay. okay, what's the best way of doing this? That's perfect. Furniture Center of the South, and I was told no, Furniture Center of the World. So I'm <laughs> glad, Mr. President, to present Paul Brayton to you, and he will tell you why we're here. And I'm sure you already know. I'd like to read you a letter, President Reagan. Great. Dear President Reagan, the Brayton International Chair of Excellence Award is presented annually to one outstanding American citizen who has distinguished themselves in his or her field of endeavor. 
We are very proud to inform you that you have been selected our recipient for 1985. This award is designed to recognize business, political, humanitarian, or scientific excellence and achievement. As 1985's recipient, you will be asked to serve on a board of nomination to select future recipients of this award. Past recipients include Mr. Fred Alexander of High Point, North Carolina, Mr. Ivy Clayton of Raleigh, North Carolina, Senator Jesse Helms of North Carolina, and now you, Mr. President. From the citizens of North Carolina and the employees of Braden International, I congratulate you. We are very proud to present you with this distinctive leather chair with your name engraved in gold. You must try it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll have a post picture. <laughs> okay. right. Say, and very comfortable. Thank you. Yeah. So listen, it is. I'm I've got to try uh, the chair. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it is comfortable. <laughs> it is very comfortable. It makes some of those long days shorter. Yes, that's yes. right. <laughs> Can we get a picture with you, Mr. Brick himself? Stand behind the chair, you can try it if you'd like it. Would you like to sit in? What? You look best in it, I'll tell you that. This is Ann Jennings. This is her, her portrait of Ronald Reagan. Hey, Ann, get over here with the president and give that to me. Thank you very much. And I never know what to say at a time like this. Should I hold it for you as you look? Mm -hmm. I think what? that might be easier. I, uh, 
because anything I say makes me sound kind of wrong. It's a handsome fellow, yeah, though, isn't it? I was going to, yes, you know, I was going to say, thank you for making me look a little bigger than I think I look. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, sir. Oh, and as an art director oh, with Soldiers you. Magazine. I know. And uh, she did this uh, and asked me if I would uh, communicate with you and see if she could give it to you, and you very graciously oh, did this. You certainly. Thank you. Thank you very much. You certainly are. I know you've designed several of the covers for yes. Soldier Magazine, yes, too. Yes, well, Here you are. May I give that to you? And Mr. President, I'd like to introduce you as well. To, you know my wife, Rosemary, Rosemary Tribble. So nice to see you. Good. Mother, my father, parents were here from Arkansas, so I appreciate the opportunity to come by and say hello. Mary has far gone away. Could we take one family picture before we uh, rush out? Yes. That would be great. Good. Good. Congratulations. And, and then you and I will get a just one. Absolutely. You've got to have a one. Yes. Yeah. Let's see, should we get the president in the middle? I would like to. I think that makes sense. Well, they have a chance to see you more than That's right. Maybe yes. you can talk with Thank you. Great. Thank you.